So, for anyone who might be completely unaware of what all things Linux is, how about just give like a brief overview and then we can sort of get into more from there. Yeah, so at first it started off as a simple community uh, through Discord. Mm. And then, uh, you know, I always knew that we would do something special, something big. I uh, mm. didn't know exactly how at the beginning uh, through the activity and I just like the insane activity at that and, you know, the growth rate. Eventually, like we just had all these bright minds and stuff and like, you know, why don't we put this put them all together and do something bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of have some experience in the past of managing things, creating things. And, and so we decided that, I mean, one, we were to help people uh, through things like education and support. Mm -hmm. Two, we wanted to build things to kind of glue that all together. So like different, you know, self-hosted services and different tools and, you know, things like that. And then, uh, as you mentioned in the video as well, the wiki kind of component. Um, and so the team's grown pretty big since then, about to break 10K members on Discord. Uh, and then I believe, so we started in November 2023, a year okay. after we officially became a 501c3 nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was that was a pretty big deal, you know, for for a, just a Discord server, right? You know, mm -hmm. people just thought it was another server, another community. Uh, but I think going in that direction is going to open up a lot of different, you know, avenues for like funding and things like that to be able to do actually really cool projects. Mm -hmm. So you said it started as a Discord server. How did you initially start getting people to join? Were you posting in various places? Did people just magically find it? And then what was so, that initial period like? Uh, so this is an interesting question. Okay. <laughs> so, you know uh, how Discord can be sometimes. You know, it's the Linux community. It has a little bit of spice and drama here and there. Uh-huh. Uh, and with <laughs> this community, you know, I'll say the, the, the real tea uh, for another time. But uh, more or less, I was a part of a community for quite a while. It was a Linux community. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I made a lot of friends. I enjoy myself there. It's how I got involved in the space. But I wasn't really happy with how things were being ran mm -hmm. uh, in terms of just management and, and like culture. And just honestly, I felt like it could be so much more than it was. Uh, and it was, it, you know, it wasn't going that way. If anything, it was becoming worse and worse. Mm -hmm. And so I made a kind of a call out post, if you will. And I was see. just like, here's, here's everything wrong with this server mm -hmm. and, and, you know, provided evidence and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I was just like, you know, like, let's do something about it. It didn't turn out well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, yeah. So then I got banned. Uh, I got banned <laughs> from that community. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> I got banned from that community. And then uh, I created a server. Um, I was like, okay, fine. Like, you know, so it's not my own server uh, with blackjack and hookers. And and yeah, exactly. And so then I I invited. Uh, I don't know, probably the first day. I think we had like a hundred plus people. Just like you know, people that I personally knew just called on. Um, mm -hmm. And then within I don't know, like how long some numbers, you know, some few weeks, you know, the message count and everything else, like the activity was just so strong and mm -hmm. it continued and continued and continued. And, and like, it was to the point where, I mean, at first we did have rules and whatnot. I remember, um, one of the issues that I had with that community, mm -hmm. the one that I, that we came from was how vague and kind of small the rules were. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, so like moderation, things like that could kind of live in the gray and whatnot. And mm -hmm. so we kind of all came together, uh, went into like a GitHub or Google doc or something like that. And just kind of collaborated on like a code of conduct. We drafted out like the initial code of conduct. Um, and that was 
sort of set in stone the direction and, and sort of values and principles that we wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. I will admit, you know, kind of the earlier days was more definitely a little friend groupy, but the activity was there and to the point where it was becoming obvious of like, okay, well, we have something. Right. Um, and then when it all changed was when we got GG slash Linux. And mm -hmm. this was all pure, like the fact that I, the, the way that I got it is a crazy story in itself. But uh, once we got that, you know, that was pretty much, we decided right then and there, okay, look, if we have the Linux handle, um, we have to be the best, discord linux server you know there because like we're representing linux you know like mm -hmm. we have to set in stone that oh you know the quality and and what people expect especially if it's their first time you know being introduced to linux and things like that we need to set a standard and so um that obviously we haven't really done any like marketing or advertising mm -hmm. because everything is pretty much come through that uh the handle or through just you know, like word of mouth, you know, friends abiding friends and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, for anyone who may not be a Discord user, because I know I, you know, the FOSS audience, some of them live on IRC and mailing lists <laughs> yeah. and haven't seen Discord. We have an ever. IRC bridge. We have an IRC <laughs> bridge, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um, I do want to get into the moderation of that. I was not aware you had that, because uh, I know moderating across two things can be a bit can give me a bit weird um but for anyone who might be unaware of what the gg slash linux thing is like can you explain that to them yeah yeah it's just every server has uh invitation links and when you have like i don't know boost i guess nitro it's like mm -hmm. they're monetization whatever premium accounts you know people can boost uh and support a server and mm -hmm. then at 14 boost you get access to have a custom url um and typically you know some of the more common words and popular words are going to be hard to grab uh, because people like just, that with your yeah, like normal urls like you want to buy like yeah, any just, five letter domain yeah. yeah yeah exactly same thing with domains different social media handles blah 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 uh and so if you go to discord.gg slash ubuntu or um Debian or, you know, whatever, you're going to find probably their servers. Linux, though, had, had not, didn't have a community for it. Right. Uh, and so one day I randomly typed it in and I went to it and it was just a blank thing. It was just like, it was a guy in there who's just like DM if interested. I, it was oh. crazy is that he, he, what's crazy is that he got this handle like, a week after we started the server so like uh -huh. i was in i remember i was in virginia i think for thanksgiving or something and i saw this and like i just raced like i just dm'd him i was like dude da -da -da -da, like whatever you need and it was kind of sketchy because he wanted cash app uh -huh. or like or like or like bitcoin or, or like something mm -hmm. paypal friends and family and i was like oh gosh like I'm about to get scammed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, so he wanted to. He asked. He asked how much for it. Like I don't know what to say. Like what well, you know. Like what would you say? Like you know who knows? Like he's gonna ask something. He's gonna try and rob me basically yeah. for something ridiculous. I don't think he realized like what he had. Aside so just like a hundred bucks, because like I wanted it. Like it, it. Like I was like I. You know like it meant a lot sentimentally to me. This may be. Like, the I was like, if I get scammed, <laughs> yeah, if I get scammed, it's a hundred bucks, okay, like whatever. And so I sent him a hundred bucks Bitcoin. <laughs> uh huh. And and um, and he was like all good and everything, and then he he transferred it to me uh -huh. uh, pretty much immediately with a tool that he had. Uh, this might be the so... dumbest domain squatter I have ever seen. <laughs> like you're gonna let that go for like you get like. You get Linux and you let it go for a hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sucks I, to I, suck, I guess. Some people's, what's weird is that in the early, early days, some people kind of felt weird that I bought it. Like mm. they were, they had some weird energy. Like you know, I don't mm -hmm. know for why, but I was like, I'd rather buy it and like protect it than someone else getting it using right, it for right. like nef nefarious reasons or something like that right but... like uses like a 
malware discord like you people know, who, would go to who, it who thinking it's some like semi-official yeah. thing i was like yeah like of course i'm gonna buy it you know hundred dollars like yeah it was the best hundred dollars i ever spent like mm -hmm. i don't know so, yep. I don't know if that's against dis. I assume it's against Discord's TOS to be selling GG links. <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, maybe selling, but maybe, I don't know about buying though. Probably not buying. <laughs> Discord, please. Uh, I'm innocent. <laughs> if you're watching this. No, that is that is kind of crazy though that someone had grabbed it and then let it go for that. But a week only, after, a week but, after but we started as well. Not only let it go for that, that someone else hadn't gone to him already yeah true, true, true. like I mean, how it was long... a week after so. oh okay well even so like how like like you said this was 2023 yeah mm -hmm. yeah discord but, well, had see, the... someone did supposedly had it beforehand okay. someone did and i heard i heard rumors that um it was used for some pretty bad things i see i see yeah so yeah. Discord so, probably stepped in and shut it down, and then this yeah. guy scooped it up when it was available. That would be the best guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so since then, that link, I think the last time I looked, because it shows you how many people have clicked it, I think like over 15,000 maybe. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Like, that. that is kind of crazy that you've got. Like, it would be one thing if you just were like, oh, let's make it the all things Linux or ATL, what, anything like that. But the mm. fact that you actually have Linux, like, how, how does it feel to basically be the Linux representation on Discord? Because that, that's effectively feels... the position you're in. Yeah, no, it feels great. I think, um, I think that we've done everything in our power to meet that, like, face you know uh mm. to, to wear that badge we pretty much have 24 7 moderation mm -hmm. all across the world all time zones covered uh, i think our team right now is maybe like 25 people mm -hmm. um all volunteers uh since since the very beginning our code of conduct incredibly thorough it's grown now uh we even have you know moderation handbooks we you know all moderators are personally onboarded uh, you know, they're all trained in different ways. Um, we have tons of helpful users. Our support forums are active. We, uh, you know, one thing I'm proud to say is that despite our numbers, like, you know, we've, we're around maybe, I think we're at 99 something hundred right now. Um, and that's within, yeah, since, since November 11th, 2023. <laughs> so pretty, pretty quick growth, but since at least maybe i don't know like five six k range we were if you and i did the numbers multiple multiple times because <laughs> we have a thing that tracks like all the me messages and stuff like that or actually no if you just go if you, you if you go to search the search box in discord and you like pick a random day you say like during this day go to any other place and look like we're averaging anywhere from 10 to 20,000 messages a day. And like, you know, if you go to other communities, I'm not going to say names, other communities with, you know, 20, 30,000 people, it's like crickets, like, you right. know, 2,000, 3,000 a day, 4,000 a day, you know, even some added up don't even get close to what we're doing. And, and so like that just shows to me, like people like being here. People enjoy talking here. People feel a sense of camaraderie here. Like, and I think culture is everything. Like our, our moderation style as well is like our moderators and staff aren't moderators. They're members that, that, you know, perform the role of moderator. But at the end of the day, they're still members. They still get along with everyone. They still, you know, we're all equal. And so I think when you kind of create that level of intimacy, it, it pays off, you know, people right. will have a much more like bond, a stronger bond.